Hi there! For this video, we'll be talking about linear equations. Specifically, we'll have an introduction video on this and talk about what it is as well as what polynomial equations are. Give examples on this and give examples on what um, equations are not polynomial or linear equations. So let's write that one now. Linear equations. So when we say linear equations, from the word itself linear, this means that its degree is 1 degree 1 and it must be polynomial or a polynomial. So recall that when we say polynomial, these are algebraic expressions wherein um, the degree of the exponents or the old algebraic expression in general must be an integer, a positive integer. So we can't have like x raised to negative 1 or x raised to 1 half since negative 1 is not positive and 1 half is not an integer. And since we have equation out here, we'll be dealing with the equal sign. So let's now dive into some examples. Let's have 5x plus 6. So we will determine if this one, oops, I forgot the equal sign, equals 0. So this one. So we will determine if this is a linear equation. Well, I recall that in a previous video, a very previous video, to determine the degree of the polynomial out here, we simply check the variables present in this polynomial. So in this case, we have one variable, it is this one, x, and we know that x is equal to x raised to 1. So the degree of this equation or this polynomial in general, is degree 1. Therefore, this example out here is a linear equation. So it's as simple as that. That is how we determine if a given is a linear equation. Let's have this next one. Let's have 3x minus 4y plus z equals 1. So again, we check the degree or the exponents of each variable present in this equation. So first, we have the x variable, then the y, then the z variable. We know that x this one is equal to x raised to 1, y is equal to y raised to 1, and z is equal to z raised to 1. Therefore, the degree of this um, equation must be 1, since every term has a maximum degree of 1. Therefore, this one out here is a linear equation. Let's have this next example. Let's have x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Well, immediately, observe that in this variable, we have an exponent of 2. 
So this implies that this term has an degree of 2. And since the degree of the whole polynomial is determined by the highest degree of one of its terms, therefore, we can conclude that the degree of this polynomial is 2 and not 1. Thus, this one is not a linear equation. Note that since this one out here is still a polynomial, this one is still a polynomial equation. But it is not linear since we call this one, if we have degree 2, we call that one a quadratic equation. So we will also dive into this um, type of equation in this playlist. So take note of that one. What if we have x raised to 10 plus x raised to 9 up until x equals 1? Well, the degree of this term is 10. The degree of this next term is 9. And since we don't really need to check the terms out here, since we can determine that the degree of the whole polynomial is determined by the degree of its highest term, which is clearly degree 10. Since this one is not equal to 1, therefore, this equation is not a linear equation. But again, note that this is a polynomial equation since each of its term has um, an exponent or a degree of a, let's write it out again, a positive and integer. So, this one is still a polynomial equation. In fact, we call this one a higher order polynomial equation. So we will also be dealing with this type of polynomial equation further in this playlist. So take note of that one. Now let's look into some examples that you might think to be a polynomial or a linear equation, but probably not. So let's have x minus xy plus y equals 1. Although this seems to be a linear equation since if we view each variable out here, they each have an exponent of 1. However, if we dive into this middle term, recall that to get the degree of a term wherein we have multiple variables, what we do is we add the exponents. So the degree of this term is 1 plus 1 or 2. And so, oops, and so this one out here is not a linear equation. But is it a polynomial equation? Well, yes it is. Since, again, we have a positive exponent and integer exponent for all. So, yes to polynomial equation.
How about this? 1 over x plus 2 equals 0. Observe that our variable here is the x, and it's in the denominator. So what does this mean? Well, note that we can write this one as x raised to negative 1. And so, we can see that this one is not a polynomial equation since the exponent is negative. Even though it's an integer, it is negative. And so, since this is not a polynomial equation, it can be a linear equation as well. Since being a polynomial is a prerequisite to be a linear equation. So this type of equation is not a polynomial or linear equation. This is rather a rational equation, but we'll deal with that in a different playlist. Let's have this last example. Let's have 5 squared of x plus y equals 2. Now here, observe that the exponent of this one is 1. How about this one? Well, note that square root of x is equal to x raised to 1 half. How? You can recall this in our introduction to radical. Radicals video. So, if it's x raised to 1 half, can we say that this equation is a polynomial equation? Again, note that for it to be a polynomial, the exponent must be positive integer. 1 half is not an integer. And so, this one out here is not a polynomial equation, which then means that this one cannot be a linear equation, even though the highest degree of the exponent is 1. This type of equation, on the other hand, is called a radical equation. But again, we won't dive much into that in this playlist, since we only focus on polynomial equations. But before I end this video, here is an exercise for you to try on. Given a equals 2 pi r times h plus r. Determine if this is a linear equation or not, as well as determine if this is a polynomial equation or not. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something from this video and gained an insight on the basics on what linear equation is as well as what polynomial equations are. So feel free to comment down below your um, suggestions, recommendations, as well as your solutions and answer to this exercise. So that is it and that is all for this video.